So let us relax down into our bodies. And as we do so, we find ourselves opening, opening our channel as the crown chakra widens, as the light from above begins to pour through. And we breathe in the light of spirit. New energies, new activations having been received today. So we give time, time to be in our presence, time to rest within, in that place of peace and stillness. and all begins to integrate into our being. The body in allowance, the body receiving as everything enters into every cell of the body. And the beauty is, there is no effort to be made and nothing to do. Simply to remain centered within the heart. In one's I am. There is of course only one I am, which we connect to the I am of source, universal consciousness of which we are all a part. As we are also connected to our soul star chakra and our stellar gateway. Our consciousness is able to expand to include our galactic consciousness. As we experience our galactic presence, we feel our oneness with all those ascended masters, star beings and cosmic beings who were present for us today. So we feel joy and gratitude for the service to Gaia today and for the personal work that we also received. So let us continue to rest within these transmissions. For truly there is nothing to do but to surrender to the divine as the divine plan works through us. So we begin to feel our own place within this plan what we are here to do or to facilitate, shall I say. And it is always uplifting for the soul when we work in service. Our little ego desires and worries simply fall away in the vastness of the greater plan. So we find our own consciousness is raised 
above the literal self. And we can look down upon the literal self, the human self in the matrix of illusion and feel such compassion for all it has suffered. Yet knowing that the suffering is all in the past, only hanging around in memory for we have moved, have shifted into a higher realm, a higher perception where the old is no longer needed. So as we rest together in this higher consciousness, we connect once again to this amethyst crystal as we ask it to join its consciousness with ours and continue to flow through transforming, transmuting, alchemizing all that is of lower energy transmuting into love, joy and peace as the lower aspects are transformed so they drift away from memory until nothing is left to block my true presence, my soul my higher consciousness. As the violet fire works through me, it also moves through Gaia and extends around me I see the wall of light around this parkland the presence of the Arcturian starship and the higher dimensional energies that are anchoring here And I invite into our circle the magnificent trees of higher consciousness who are working with us, holding the Arcturian energies. Nature's etheric energies. and the magic that exists in this parkland as we ask for it all to be upgraded All is done without effort, timelessly, peacefully.
the violet fire continuing to clear all dark energies freeing the trees from their burden The light moves into the darkness slowly, gradually as the dark resists until we arrive at the point where the light moves fully into the dark dispelling it a conflict so to speak taking place And so the light is able to flow through freely through the ley lines, the meridians and the crystalline grid, the Christ light filling this space. So our bodies gradually adjust to this higher light frequency. With a relaxed body, it can move through without resistance as we each receive an upgrade. And if there's anything you would like to ask for, that you wish for, you are invited to ask. It is the wish of your high heart that one should ask for.
and simply rest and continue to receive. Receiving without effort, all being given by grace as you surrender to the light. The ego self having surrendered its control, its power to the truth of the divine self. And rest in these energies as long as you wish. Allowing all to take place for you. So you may feel ready now to open your eyes.